Yes, it's been a long time since I've actually been onto the channel or filming or whatnot. I've been, you know, focusing on the other channel and then a lot of things happening recently and such. So right now it's like 3.53 in the morning. Uh, my family is actually out of town and I just woke up out of nowhere. So I just, you know, thought I should actually uh, do a reaction video today. You know, it's been like literally a month since I've actually had uploaded a video on this particular channel. So... Today's video, we'll be watching uh, 20 minutes of Shane Gill's impressions. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see some uh, Trump impressions and amongst other uh, impressions that he, he does, which, which I want to say his famous one is the Trump one, but I don't know. But we're going to get right into it. So further ado, let's go. White people used to be cool in America. <laughs> Long time ago, dude. The height, the height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see, ha ha, man. <laughs> and then the day white people stopped being cool was Jackie Robinson's first game. <laughs> you can look it up, dude. You can find it. You can find the radio call from that game online. You can hear oh, the exact is. moment white people stopped being cool. You can hear the announcers. They still got there like, man. Welcome to Chicago, where the White Sox take on the Brooklyn Dodgers. And we all had cool white nicknames. Like, up at the mound is old Curly. He's a 47-year-old alcoholic. He's the greatest athlete alive. Runs a six-second, 40-yard dash. Fastest man alive, they say. <laughs> then it happened, dude. And Jackie came up to the plate. You can hear the announcers like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to the plate is a young card boy from Brooklyn. No way he can hit Curly's pitch. Here comes the pitch. Fuck, home run. All right. <laughs> that was it, dude. Jackie hit the ball so hard he knocked that voice out of all the whites. Not one of us has talked like that since. Dude, one swing of the bat, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. Good, good. Good. It's time for us to focus on computers. <laughs> Nobody on earth is better than me. Yeah, that, that checks out. I feel it, like it was everything I wanted. I walked in, it was him just shotgunning a fucking seltzer. <laughs> like, I got in I got in there late and he was like, yo, get him one too. He's the most he's the nicest dude ever. Like right. as soon as I walked in, he was like, yo, get this motherfucker one also. <laughs> and he got me one. And then we walked outside and he front kicked a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> front kicked the stranger. He got a fight with the stranger immediately. Wait, wait, I thought you were Bro. kidding. No. 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 Yeah. So so Nate's like, everybody that comes up, he's like, let's get a picture. Like, yeah, fuck you. Like all that. And then one dude walked up that was like jacked. And Nate Diaz just immediately was like, Yeah, Yo, you wanna run up on us? <laughs> but it was just like a it was just like a perfectly nice guy who happened to be strong. Nah, right? he like, was, oh he was, he was mean, mean nice mugging. Guy. And then me and Nate walked down the street together. Just me and Nate. It was the nicest oh, that's moment. Cool. Did like, you guys kiss? Front kicked the guy. I wish. <laughs> what were you, like, what was, what, bro, what were you talking about? Bro, he front kicked the like, dude, walked and then we alone? walked out. As soon as we walked away, he's like, that motherfucker was like talking <laughs> shit. And I was sitting there like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Nate looks like a normal guy. His whole crew looked like normal guys. I was taking pictures with these dudes after, and one dude got tagged, and he's like a boxing champion. Right. Like, these dudes are pure animals. And I was just like, yeah, this guy's small. I fuck him up. Taking <laughs> 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 Nate's just... <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, true. No doubt. The whole yeah, night, true, I was like, true yeah, that. Dude, you're the best. True yeah. that. I love you so much. That's right, champ. That's right, champ. No, Nate is, Nate's incredible. The last fight against uh, Edwards... Who was the one he, where he like just took a beating? He all, literally he, he had the, him in the in the he, very last second, but he out. didn't he yeah. didn't go after him really. Pointed at him, was yeah, like, ha. yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> like, but that moment, You're that moment that moment was cooler than winning. A slap and a straight, yeah, and he and knocked him out. Like, boom, boom. And yeah. Instead of like finishing it, he went yeah, yeah. covered in blood. It was just awesome. Like, yeah, I fucked you up. <laughs> and then in the post the interview, they're like, "You could have won that, Nate." What do you think? He's like, Whatever. "After party at my house." Do not care, bro. Who's better? Nate's a dog, dude. Yeah, he's a dog. Like, to a T. Yeah, yeah. Go back and watch those fucking Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz interviews. If you want to get fired up, <laughs> like pre, mm -hmm. so Conor's at the height, 
He's talking shit on everybody. He's like, ah, fucking blah, blah, blah. And then he runs well, into Nate Diaz, who's the one guy who's like, I. Wait, is Nate Diaz the one that actually had pummeled Conor McGregor? I don't remember because uh, I I do remember when Conor, he actually had um broke his freaking leg. Wasn't this the guy that actually had did that or it, it was someone else? I don't remember. I don't care. It does not matter. Fuck it's you. It's the best shit yeah. ever. Yeah. He's like, ah, probably there's there's the best part ever is there's an interview. I think it's like MSNBC business or whatever. <laughs> Some lady that's like, uh, how do you think the fight's going to go? And he's like, ah, probably knock him out in the first round. <laughs> And Nate just goes, he better. <laughs> like, you know, that's the best answer I've ever. He's like, he better knock me out. I'm going to fucking kill him. He better. He better fucking kill me. Because <laughs> it's going to be a long night, motherfucker. I love your uh, Nate Diaz. Thank you, bro. Oh, my God. As he went drinking with Nate Diaz. Fuck off. Yeah, it was great. Oh. Yeah. And he's exactly who you think he is. One of his friends likes my stand-up. Cool. So he was like, come hang out. And I was like, definitely. I'll do the Nate Diaz. You're like, yeah. Like, he's like, yeah, like, I was like, fuck that. Like, I mean, it's that, it's that simple. That was like, really good. I don't know. Like, I just knocked that motherfucker out. Like, like, it's, it's that every time. Every interview, he's the best interview ever. Because everybody thought McGregor was. Because McGregor yeah. was incredible. Yeah. And then when he. When, you when he compared, fought Diaz, they went, oh. Yeah, that's better. That's funnier. Because <laughs> Connor's obviously funny and incredible at talking shit, but Nate's Nate's being honest. Yeah, Nate's yeah, yeah, like yeah. Connor's putting on a show and Connor's trying shit. to sell the fight. Yeah. And Diaz yeah. is just saying whatever comes into Whatever's his brain. Whatever's in his head. Is, yeah. And half the time it's like, yeah, fuck this. And that's <laughs> the end of the interview. <laughs> yeah, it's real punk, isn't it? Yeah. I got a good story for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. we got a story. It's very funny. So I was at Notre Dame or Notre Dame Navy this last week in Dublin. You hunchback? Yeah. yeah. I am a fucking hunchback. <laughs> That's why it worked. You just got back from England? From Ireland? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, I had to go. Anyway, we, the first was, night uh, we're down there, we did a show Thursday. Then we're down there. My, I brought my father, which was very funny, to see. All right. So this guy comes Phil? down. Phil's down there. We go to this bar <laughs> with Brady Quinn. He's one of the Notre Dame all time legends. J Mo knows him. I know him. J Mo. You know hey. Brady Quinn. He's Dublin, yep. Ohio, boy. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. But. Guy. We're at this bar. We're drinking after the show. <laughs> this fucking Irish kid shows up. He is Conor McGregor. Skin tight pants, fucking button down. No offense to him. Coked out of his mind. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah. You've never no seen someone this high in your life. The he old came down, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so he swipes. We're sitting there drinking. He swipes all the beers off the corner of the bar, reaches over Brady <laughs> Quinn's shoulder, and is to me, he's like, big fucking fan, man. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. And Brady Quinn just gave one of these, like, fucking, who the fuck is this guy? Like, <laughs> cool. Damn, this guy's crazy. Yeah. And when he did that, he bumped him a little. Uh -oh. And the guy immediately was like, you don't fucking bump me. <laughs> he started fucking doing his whole UFC thing. So he's spazzing. We all have to break it up. We have to break up this fight for 20 fucking minutes. Jesus. I turn around. My father is back there going. Nah. <laughs> his fist is ready to go. I turn around. I like, he's ready to go. Phil, Phil's ready to go. What the fuck are you going to do? All right, Phil. <laughs> Phil tried to fight him, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> Phil would have died uh, defending Brady Quinn in Dublin. Oh, I'd be a hero. Vikings death. That is how my dad should go. <laughs> totally. I mean, that's legend. Anyway. Yeah. So we break this fight up. The guy's a fan. He's like, ah, let's do a fucking Jaeger bomb. Let's have a fucking, <laughs> let's take it easy, man. I was like, all right, I'll do a Jaeger bomb. We, fucking, we get shit faced. This guy's on a coke rant for like 15 minutes of just straight, like, ah, fucking, nah, nah. Who's, but he's, he's Brady a, Quinn, so you can get damn, Brady Quinn rules. He's Brady a Quinn's, hunk. He's the man. So he's anyway, a handsome dude. Oh, this guy's okay, full okay, UFC. Okay. He's genuinely an MMA guy. Oh, really? He trains with McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Allegedly. He was on cocaine. He might have been fabricating. <laughs> but, sure. <laughs> Patty Pimble. But you know how these guys go. He just shadow boxes the whole time. You're talking to him, and he's like, yeah, fucking body shot, body shot, liver, liver. Bang, straight <laughs> to your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sounds like a nightmare. He was Christ. hell. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't, you can't move. You can't, like, like, flinch to the body, because then you'll literally get punched in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, muscle. yeah. And then... We're like, oh, we're going to get killed. And he's like, ah, you're a fucking Nate Diaz guy, aren't you? Uh -oh. And I was like, no way. That's what this is about. <laughs> this guy's going to beat my ass in Dublin for being a Nate Diaz guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, the, the whole night, the guy leaves. Everything's okay. The next night, get done with the shows. Brady's in the green room 
We're all hanging out. We're having a good time. That fucking Irish guy just walks straight into the green room. What? What? <laughs> of the theater? Yeah. What? And Ray Quinn looks at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why would you invite minute. this guy? And I was yeah. like, dude, I did not invite oh, this fucking no. guy. He walks in. He's like, ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> I was like, dude, this is the whole time. He's just he's still shadow boxing, Ugh. still bothering everybody in a good way though. This time, at this point, it's fun. Yeah, he's bothering everybody. We start walking. We start going to a bar. He's like, I would go to this fucking bar. I'm like, dude, all the bars in Dublin close at midnight. Yeah. He's like, nah, this is Dublin. This is in fucking gay New York. The bars stay open. <laughs> Every bar we go to is closed. <laughs> I'm like, dude, Dublin sucks. <laughs> New York rules. He's like, you know what we don't have in Dublin? Fucking pronouns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. People that walk by us are gay interracial couples holding hands. Uh. I was like, Dublin's gay. <laughs> <laughs> we finally get to a bar. This guy... By the, the whole time, all he's been doing is trying to fight everybody. Uh. We get to a bar. We start to get to this bar, and he kind of is like, ah, let's go to that bar. You're a fucking legend at that bar. Let's go to that one, not this one. And I'm like, let's go. To the, we're going to this one. So we go into the bar. As soon as we start walking in, a bouncer, a, just a bald, fat bouncer walks out and is like, you. <laughs> what? Just oh. beats the shit out of the Irish guy. What? No. What? Yeah. what? This whole time he's been like, oh, fucking knock out anybody. What? No, oh. God. Oh. What? He's oh. just a, a regular, but he must have had a problem in this bar. Oh, my he knew God. Him. The whole time he was like, let's go to oh another my bar. God. The second we get to this bar, five bouncers swarm and just start <laughs> yeah. waiting. Oh, oh, want you to go God. to. Now, he's yes. like, no, no, we're good here. Now, now, this is how cool this fucking guy was. He gets his ass beat. He's bloody, he's split open. He gets out of all five of them, runs down the alley, and then turns and looks at all of them and goes. Squares <laughs> 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 up and runs off again. It was like, That's damn, great. that guy ruled. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, okay. he probably anyway. does that every weekend. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a hell of a wow. drug. Yeah. Anyway, that was the best guy I've ever met. That was in, my in life. Dublin. That's hilarious. It was in Dublin. He's like, I fucking run Dublin, man. We fucking have some fucking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you did Vicker Street? Yeah, yeah, Street. That's what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Vicker Street fucking rules. Great uh, venue. Uh, the, uh, the Irish crowd is like, they're dickheads. They yell out they the must whole be time. They're having a time, though. They're fucking funny. They're funny people. The whole country is funny. I had my beer on a fucking speaker and it fell off, and they go nuts. Yeah, they go nuts. Oh, 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 All you have to do is hit a fucking up the ra. <laughs> Anytime they're giving you an applause break, go up the ra. <laughs> What's that mean? Up the IRA. Oh. They, they're, they're, uh, yeah. Got it. Got wow. it. And once you see his teeth, every story about him makes perfect sense. Like, he was a man of few words. It's like, yeah, dude, he had fucking donkey teeth and fucking <laughs> lead in his mouth for a decade. You can't keep lead in your mouth for a decade. That would give you, for real, like rabies like symptoms. You got. <laughs> Like, I can't believe we defeated the British. So, I know how we did it. We had a fucking six foot two, redheaded, retarded guy <laughs> out in the woods just waiting for those motherfuckers, dude. Six two in 1770, that's like 6'10 today. <laughs> Red hair, horse teeth, a sword, just. <laughs> Do you wanna tax me, motherfucker? <laughs> you know how terrifying that guy was coming out of the woods? <laughs> Some five foot British guy. Oh! <laughs> What's wrong? It's George. <laughs> you want to touch me? Dog. <laughs> Just... Oh! <laughs> I had a friend say the N word to me. I had a white friend on the phone say the N word to me, and I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I didn't know we were this serious. Like, I didn't know. That's how white guys say I love you. Like, if a white guy, if a white guy says the N word to you, you're like, oh shit, you trust me with your, with your life? Yeah. <laughs> and I, this is, I mean, I, it's just a, pretty much a Louis C.K. joke at that point. I can't not do Louis when I, I'm like, and I didn't know what to say. So I was, I was like, I faggot, faggot you too. <laughs> <laughs> Spud. Spud was like talking about how he he bought Louie the show. And yeah. he was like, when I was younger, it was like funnier. Now I'm older and it's depressing. Yeah. Because well, he's like, Louie's sad the whole time. And I was like, that's literally why he's the greatest. Yeah. He's a 40 year old in the, in the show. Yeah. Schlubby dude that's depressed. There's nothing funnier than a dude who's not really afraid to die. Yep. That's what's funny of a guy that's just like, well, that's fucking it. Then I die. Yeah. It's like, nice. My fucking head falls off. And my ankle hurts. Yeah. 
my ankle hurts. And the doctor, yeah, the doctor's like, it's just going to hurt now. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> You're done with me? He's like, but don't you, what if, like, don't you, like, fix athletes? He's like, You're not an athlete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he rules. Creating nothing, dude. They do it. The only export I've seen come out of Australia is just that YouTube video of that guy punching that kangaroo in the face. Yeah. You know that video, that kangaroo holding that dog hostage out in the woods? <laughs> Owner shows up, squares up with the kangaroo. <laughs> no hesitation. Kangaroo knew it was a fight, too. <laughs> Guy just walking. <walked> him. <laughs> if you've seen the video, you know how good that impression just... <laughs> yeah. Like, kangaroo's got, no, like, Australia huge ruled. I only, traps. I only had one negative experience while I was there, and it was, uh, I, got, I got bullied. I got made fun of publicly by a goth. He walked behind me, took my hat off my head, put it back down and patted me on the head. I turned around smiling at him because I thought only a friend could have done this. I was like, Dude, this guy kept walking. He didn't even break stride. He goes, nice hat, fatso. It <laughs> just destroyed me for no, I had no comeback. I was just like, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like that fucking kangaroo. What was that about? I hate that he's a goth from Australia. It's like, you can't be that. You can't be a goth from Australia. You sound funny. You can't be, you know what I mean? That guy can't go around like, all day I think about death. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, shut up, dude. I'm actually very dark and twisted. <laughs> no, yeah, that not. special was legendary. You're Australian. You sound it's funny. funny. It, 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 Australian accent legendary. is one of those accents that's funny every single time. You could be in the middle of a fucking tragedy if you heard an Australian accent, you'd still be like. Hey, he's Australian. <laughs> you, just, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, like if there was like an Australian guy in the office on 9-11, I was, I was like, oh fuck, look out! <laughs> like, <laughs> oh no, there's another one, get down! That's so messed up. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck, it's hot up here, gonna have to jump out. No. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was uh, a part of the 20 minutes of the uh, special, whatever. Uh, I had to cut out uh, some of the sections, especially when we went to one. It was uh, Joe Rogan and um, many, many other sections. Uh, I will make sure I will uh, link it inside of the description. So if you guys really enjoyed this reaction today, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're to react to next. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Russell, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.